to YouTube. You know who it is. Chris Jones. Represent for Zisa Greatness. And uh, as you can see in the pictures, I've been dieting. And the diet is going damn good. I came across a couple of, uh, you know, road bumps along the way. Um, I reached the plateau my third week. I'll talk about that a little later. You know what I'm saying? This is not what the video is about. Actually, the title of this video is uh, Dieting and Social Life and Bodybuilding. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much want to uh, share with you a moment I had this week. This is crazy, man. What happened was a lady friend of mine called me, right? And she was like, Chris, Chris, uh, I'm off work. This was on a Wednesday. Keep in mind, my cheat days are on Sundays. You know, this was on a Wednesday, and she called me and was like, hey, you know, let's go out, you know, have some lunch, maybe see a movie, just and catch back up. And I told, I made up some excuse not to go. And uh, the reason was, and not because I don't like the girl or nothing like that, it's because I'm on a serious, strict diet, and I really can't afford any distractions, right? So I went to the restroom or whatever, and I looked in the mirror, and I was like, damn, man, you're becoming what you... I, when I first started natural bodybuilding, I told myself I would never become one of those loser bodybuilders, you know, one of those eat, sleep, train motherfuckers. I would never let bodybuilding interfere with my social life whatsoever. And that's, a, and that's pretty much what I just did. I told this sweet girl I don't want to hang out with her because I'm on a strict diet. So you know what I did? I called her back and I told her, hey, you know what, I am free. Let's go hang out and I'm going to show you a little clip. There's no excuse for no results. You only don't get results if you don't put in the work. I'm not going to be one of these YouTube channels that's going to lie to you and tell you, oh, it's okay. Just, uh, you, can, you can hope and pray for some muscles and everything's going to be okay. No, you, you got to go to the gym. You got to live hard. And you got to eat right. As simple as that. So anyway, I just want to talk to you about that, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I got my seasoning. Yeah, you might call me ghetto. I'll do the fuck I want. You hear me? Chris Jones do the fuck he wants to do. Come on, right there. <laughs> if I stop doing shrugs, will I get to see them jugs? Yeah. I don't have to have a muscular guy. Oh, what's the problem? I'm, I'm done, then. Fuck the fuck it out. Yeah, I've never been this big on the image like that. See, as you can see, I had a pretty good time. I would like to introduce you to her, but... For some reason, a lot of you guys are under the misconception that Mr. Cuts for the Sluts is running around here talking to a whole bunch of sluts. And that is not true. You know, I do, believe it or not, talk to some nice, sweet, respectable young ladies. Don't be fooled by my slogans. You can't bring a slut home to your mother. You know, don't take the jokes too serious. I like respectable women. But fuck all that. That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. So pretty much, you know, I went ahead and had a good time. And I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are just like me. They get so caught up into these results. They want to see results and they'll do whatever it takes to get them. And they tend to focus so hard on the results that they let their social life be affected. And I'm trying to tell you guys, don't, don't fall into that spell. You know what I'm saying? That's why me and Vince, we do these eating out, not picking out videos. We do these cooking with Chris videos we're trying to show you guys that you don't have to fuck up your social life in order to see results you know what I'm saying and to be honest with you if I have to cancel my social life just to get in shape then I'd rather just be an average motherfucker there's no point of being a well-built uh, aesthetic god if you're gonna be locked in your fucking house just keep in mind guys all you gotta do you can still go to clubs you can still go to parties you can still go out to eat you can still hang with your friends. Just keep in mind one thing. You have to track your macros. You have to stay on track. You know, when I went out to eat at Denny's, all I did was I typed in my little note in my little notes exactly what I had. And when I went home, I got on myfitnesspal.com. That's where I used to track my macros. I typed in exactly what I had. And then, you know, after after I typed in what I had, I even had calories left over. You know, I had about 40 grams of protein left. I had about 60 grams of carbs, and I had about 15 grams of fats left. So actually, I came home and had another meal, and then I went to bed. So just make sure you track your macros, and you'll always be able to max some hoes. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this video kind of helped you out. I would love for you guys to comment below, especially if you feel like I feel, you know, if you've been through this before. You know, I'm sure I would love to hear your little, you know, feedback on it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
I don't want to hold you up too long. I just wanted to share a little moment with y'all. Y'all holler back at your boy, man.